this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral and today I'm going to do a quick video with you guys. I have been asked by several of my viewers on how I make my sausage gravy for breakfast. Um, I'm going to be honest, we slept in this morning. Uh, we have a hectic uh, day tomorrow as a family because we've had another uh, person in our family pass away. I know some of you guys are going to be tired of me saying that and personally I'm tired of it too. But uh, I'm, everybody's hungry, so I'm going to make something a little bit more substantial than just oatmeal and eggs, and we're all here. So I just wanted to share with you guys how I make my gravy. Now, um, I use the Mrs. B's uh, frozen biscuits, and I'm going to pop these into the oven. And I usually do about two biscuits per person, and that is more than enough uh, for us. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to turn the heat on underneath my skillet here and I've got some Jimmy Dean and this is sausage with sage in it now you don't have to use the sausage with sage you can use mild you can use any sausage that you like um, my personal preference is turkey sausage but um, on occasion I splurge a little and I get the pork sausage like I did this time so I just want to pop this into my skillet and I just want to brown this up and break it up with a um, with a spoon. And it might be tough at first to break it up, but once you start cooking it, it'll get easier to maneuver in your uh, saucepan. You also want to have some all-purpose flour on hand, some black uh, cracked pepper, and some milk uh, to make this here. Um, sausage gravy. So I'm going to get this going and then I'll come back. I'm going to pop my um, biscuits in the oven. And okay, I thought I would show you this. This is from Pampered Chef and it helps you break up your meat. It's also plastic so it's really great for Teflon covered pans, which I love. But anytime I deal with sausage of any kind, it's really hard and almost impossible to break up. So it's really nice to have this uh, gadget. And I've seen other YouTubers share it. Um, I've even shared it in other videos. My mother-in-law actually purchased this for me um, as a gift one year. And uh, I've had it for a really long time. I don't know if they still sell it or not, but I've had it forever and I use it quite often. So you just want to break up your sausage and you just want to cook your sausage thoroughly. And you don't want to drain your sausage because the drippings from the meat is what is actually going to flavor the gravy. So you want to keep those drippings. You just want to make sure that it's all broke up and, uh, you know, you get it fully cooked. It's good and brown. And now what you want to do is, is I'm going to turn the heat down just a tad bit on this. You want to sprinkle in a couple tablespoons of flour. Now the flour is going to absorb the, you know, the drippings from the sausage that you cook. And that's what's going to bring on a lot of flavor in your sausage gravy. So only a couple little tablespoons there. Stir it around. Let it absorb all of that uh, grease and drippings from your uh, sausage. You want to make sure that it's good and it's in com combined with your meat because you don't want flour chunks in your gravy because that would be kind of gross. So make sure that all of your uh, flour is good and combined. And then you want to add milk. Now I don't measure mine because I've been making this a long time but I'm going to say, you know, start out with a little bit of milk. You can always add more, but as it cooks, it will actually thicken because that's what the flour does. So I'm going to add in my milk. You can always add more milk, but you can't take out any milk. And between you and me, if you get it where it's too watery and you put too much milk in, uh, I promise you, you can still sprinkle a little bit of flour. Just make sure you get it stirred really good so it's not lumpy. Now I'm going to add in my milk, and you see I kind of eyeball it to where the milk covers the, um, the meat. I'm going to add just a little bit more. And like I said, if it gets too thick, you can always add more milk. 
Now I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, then I'm going to reduce the heat and it should thicken on its own. You're going to hear my timer go off here in two minutes, but I don't think my biscuits are quite there yet. I'm going to add in some black pepper to this. And depending on how much pepper you enjoy, my family really likes their gravy pretty peppered. You know, you have the peppered gravy that you can order or make. My family likes that. Delicious. My pan's getting pretty good and hot, and I can tell by my spoon that this is thickening up. Turn the heat off on this because you can see it's come to a boil and it's perfectly thick now. You see that? It's a perfect gravy. I hope you all enjoyed seeing how I make my sausage gravy. I'll leave you with a look of what my plate looks like when I serve it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. Have a great day. Bye.